Hello guys, welcome to the ophthalmology at a glance. Now this is a short try to give a topic in a very very small period of time so that you can quickly revise the particular topic before going into the exam. So today we are going to take these terms conoid, a very um, you know, volatile uh, topic, but a very important topic. Let's see the different kinds of astigmatism that you get at different points in the sterns conoid, right? So let's see the point number A. If you look at the point number A, you are getting a horizontal oblong. What does that mean? Horizontal oblong, something like this you are getting. That means the vertical rays are converging more than the horizontal rays. Now both are converging. So both are converging means it will be a compound astigmatism and because it is converging so it is hypermetropia. So the type of astigmatism will be your compound hypermetropic astigmatism. Now it can be with the rule or without the rule. So see if you see this uh, oblong is horizontal that means vertical rays are converging more than the vertical and therefore it is the compound hypermetropic astigmatism which is with the rule at point number A. Now as you reach to point number B, now what is happening? The vertical rays are coming to the focusing. Now these rays are focused. So it becomes emetropic. Now the moment one of the meridian becomes emetropic, now it becomes simple astigmatism and because the horizontal horizontal meridian is converging so it becomes simple hypermetropic astigmatism. Now if you look at the points which are your C, D and E. So especially at the point D what is happening you are getting a perfect sphere. So what is happening now the vertical rays are diverging and horizontal rays are converging. So you are getting equal radius or equal diameter and that is why you are getting a perfect circle. The amount of Diverging rays in the vertical meridian is equal to the amount of converging rays in the horizontal meridian. So you are getting the mixed astigmatism, the circle of diffusion is formed. Now as you reach beyond this, reach to the F, now you are getting a vertical line. Vertical line you are getting now what is happening? Now horizontal rays have come to the focus. So it has become emetropic again and because it has become emetropic, so type of astigmatism will become simple astigmatism and can you see the vertical rays are diverging? It is something like this. So diverging means myopic. It becomes simple myopic astigmatism. Now you can easily learn this and directly solve the question in the exam that will save your time because time is money in the examination hall. And then beyond F, it is not only for G, it is beyond F, whatever points you have because it is actually the astigmatism, you are getting the sterns conoid and the vertical, these two kind of rays, they are never uh, coming to the point focus. Okay, so they are uh, two focal lines that we are getting in cases of the sterns conoid. So this is also diverging, this is also diverging, therefore it becomes compound myopic astigmatism. So simple, in few minutes you can easily see what are the types of astigmatism on the stems conoid. I hope you, you like the video. Please do comment how do you like the videos. Please uh, share this video and also please tell me the different topics that you cover. Uh, you want me to cover in this ophthalmology at a glance which you can utilize for a quick revision before the exam. Thank you and happy ophthalmology.